Hi everybody, I'm Charlotte and this is The Daily where we talk all things skincare, fashion, fitness, and nutrition for women over 40. Guess what? It's another Walmart haul, a weekly Walmart haul. I am super excited. I've got so many pieces, you guys, and I definitely need your help on this one. So if you're ready for a Walmart video, give this video a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel because we do have a lot of fun here. And hit that notification bell just so you never miss another video. So without further ado, let's get into this. Oh Lord, you're beautiful. Oh yeah, your face is all I see, and when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds to me. Hey guys, remember to stay tuned to the end of the video because we do have, I do have a special giveaway for you guys again. It's not a contest, I just randomly select somebody in the comments to receive something that I wanna give away. So stay tuned for that. But you guys, there's a lot of really fun pieces and I've got so much stuff that I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get through it all. So this one in specific is um, an interesting one. Okay, so I'm not really a monochromatic kind of girl, well, especially if it's a two piece. And you know, I have made exceptions to that rule. Like um, during the summer, there's a couple of outfits that kind of look sort of like a dress if you kind of put them together if there's two pieces that look exactly the same um, this one in particular is a ribbed uh, sweater outfit I want to say it's a two-piece and it is a no boundaries it's kind of their rendition of the sweater kind of look that is so in right now so on trend but I'm gonna back up and show you it does have silver buttoning here um, I'm gonna show you the entire outfit and then tell you what I think about it and then I, I love your opinion as well so I'm gonna back up this skirt is a kind of a longer skirt it definitely goes past my knees and you know you can pull it up or down as long as you'd like it and I am five five and a half I'll leave my measurements in the description description box um, so this this is kind of a cute outfit I like the idea of it um, I'm not crazy about the color and I did purchase this in black as well I do have it on with my time and true espadrille wedges I tried like three or four different types of shoes on um, I've tried booties on and some other heels and things and I think that these probably work just the best and to be honest I probably won't be keeping this so I'm gonna tell you that if you do these are working buttons but if you do decide to you know like unfasten one of these buttons you know it's just kind of like an eye and you push this button through that's how it works but you can you cannot i i wasn't able to kind of get this to go back and stay so i think that that would be an issue you wouldn't if you did purchase this outfit you would not want to um here let me fix this a little bit if you did purchase this outfit you would not want to unbutton these buttons at all they're not meant, I don't think, to unbutton and button. I thought, oh, I wonder what I could do with this. Could I put maybe a tank top under it or something? Because it's just so, such a same color. And it's not one of those um, crop tops that kind of blend in with the skirt so you can, you know, make it look like a dress. But, you know, you can definitely tell it's two pieces. And, you know, I think it's just a matter of preference if you like this kind of thing. It's you know it's not very expensive you know it's it's one of those probably one season maybe two if you took care of it kind of outfits um i don't know if i love it you guys to be honest with you i bought this in a size medium i think i probably could have sized down for sure so if you guys do get this outfit maybe size down i really don't know what to say about this besides i'm not crazy about it so you know what happens when i'm not crazy about something so this is the blazer I'm talking about. You know what, I've had this blazer for so long, it's 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 really bad because, well, now I'm gonna have a chance to wear it, but I, I still have the tag on. I'm not taking this guy back, so I don't know why I still have a tag on. I'm still not crazy about this outfit, it's going back. There's a black one as well. And yeah, like I said, you would not wanna mess with these buttons. I think the black one would probably be better, to be honest with you, I'm just not crazy about this color. So I probably should have tried the black one on, <laughs> this outfit you know they can't all be winners I'm gonna try to make it look cute so you guys know you know I'm not I don't want to make it look ugly <laughs> so I'll go ahead and model it for you like it is cute okay <laughs> Okay, 
on to the next outfit. Okay, I showed you this dress last week. It's the Time and True t-shirt dress with the sash tie. So you already know what it looks like. But you know, I went to the store this week and I saw it in an extra small. So I bought it in a small last week, showed you guys, and I'm gonna put in a little insert right here and show you what it looked like as a small. I went ahead and sized down because you know, when I was wearing it to church last week, I kind of felt like it was kind of a little big on me. Like I did, I felt like it was a little big, but I didn't really think, hey, I'm gonna size down with this. I just went to the store to pick up another purchase and just so happened that they had them in a different color and they had them in a size smaller. So this is an extra small. I just wanna show you the variation here so it won't take too long, but I think it's important to know that maybe you should size down. This is still, you know, quite long. Like it, there's, it's still a really great length. I'm five, five and a half. I did purchase this in another color because you know I love these dresses. I think they are super. So um, love these dresses. I just really do think that it, kind of looks a little more put together. I feel like it shapes me a little bit more and still doesn't look tight or too form-fitting, but I don't feel like it looks as boxy, maybe. Maybe it was a little loose like shoulder area, you know? I really do like the fit. You guys have to tell me what you think, but you guys, this is an adorable color and I'm so glad I went back for this. And I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and tell me what you guys think before I go on and on about it because it's cute, it really is. So it has this little tie on it, it looks like a drawstring tie, so you could probably tighten it up around your waist. Now you guys, this is a blouse that I bought in No Boundaries and I did purchase it in a size large. So yes, a size large. I would probably size up two times if you want it to look kind of like this in No Boundaries, okay? And I did get it in a couple of different patterns just to show you. I wanna show you that um, it does button up about halfway down. So it goes to about here and these cuffs are kind of made into the shirt you know what i mean they don't unfold that's just the way they are but i think it's so cute and i did pair that with these scoop jeans and these little booties i think this is super cute it reminds me of like you know pumpkin patch kind of stuff the bottom of this like i said it is kind of um strung with a drawstring so that string goes all the way around the shirt now okay so it's kind of like elastic right here and then you can go ahead and cinch that in and tie that you know tighter to your waist if you like that you know yeah this is cute i like it tell me what you guys think is this your cup of tea or not really nice through here the fit is really really nice there's no pulling i'm glad i picked this up in a size large i think it fits really nice i'm going to show you the other color as well so this color here has um some greens some burgundy some white and some pink in it if you can see that so i really do think the color is really pretty and then um that that is just like this but it's in the color red so i'll show you up close that this is like that drawstring tie that you can kind of cinch and then the back is it has like an elastic band so it's stretchy back here so that's the red one tell me what you guys think of this outfit so these are the scoop jeans that I showed you they kind of have that V right here I kept these they have the um, kind of the released hem and I just rolled those on the bottom I wanted to show you that I got a couple of new pair of boots from Walmart. They are beginning to roll out their booties. And these are combat boots. I wore a pair last week that I could not link, but definitely am able to link some similar kind of options. This particular one is a combat boot and it has little to no heel. And it looks really cute with this outfit. So I'm going to show you the outfit and then I'm going to kind of start taking off the layers just to show you what it's like. So this is my scoop jacket and I have it on with the same jeans but I did want to show you these combat boots. And I have my distressed kind of like released hem. I have it halfway tucked into the boot and halfway not tucked in. So um, the boot is a higher boot. It actually hits you way above the ankle, about maybe an inch and a half to two inches above the ankle. So I think it's really cute. So this is the outfit in total. I'll show you the back. I like the blazer with the combat boots. I think that's a really cute look and I really love this v-neck top so I'm gonna take it off it's a time and true and it's super cute you guys 
This is a really cute top. I get really excited when I find things that I really am gonna love. So this top is really cute with these boots. So this is a size small, time and true, V-neck. I wanna show you the sleeve. So it's got a little gathered sleeve here. So it gives a little bit of a pop, but not too much. And then the sleeve kind of bells out here. So I think that this is a really cute kind of detailed shirt that is different from the ones that I have. And I don't think it'll come up here, but there's little um, sewn, kind of um, maybe embroidered little circles or balls that are in the fabric here. And I don't think that they're very visible with this color, but that's just another added detail that's really cute about this shirt. I love it, I'm keeping it. I think it's really cute, fun, and a great piece going into fall. Oh, by the way, if you get these shoes, um, I got them in my normal size, and I did get them in a wide, which I typically don't do. I think I got that on accident. But you could probably either stick to your normal size or size down, and I'll show you those boots up close. So here's the boot up close. It does have the tie, and it's, I kind of just tied it how it was. It didn't go all the way up, and I kind of liked that kind of undone look. Do you know what I mean? So it's put together yet undone, and then it has a zipper which I always appreciate in a boot. So definitely size, either your normal size or size down. I'm not crazy about the shine on these, but I think over time it might dull down just a little bit. And nice, solid, rugged heel. And these run 19.98, so not a breaking the bank kind of shoe, but I thought they paired really good with the blazer. Tell me what you guys think and on to the next outfit. Okay, so I forgot to tell you that the last boots that I showed you, the combat boots, were time and true. I'm gonna go ahead and try these on for you now, and these are No Boundaries, which is kind of crazy, because I don't really remember buying many shoes from No Boundaries, but I'm sure they have their own shoe, shoe line. And they seem well made, but they're heavy. But I'm gonna show you them up close before I put them on and pair them with this outfit that I'm about to try on for you. So they're a little more on the fashion forward side, and you know, you just may not like this. That's okay. And these are also a bit heavy, but I like the fact that they're a little more muted black. They don't seem quite as shiny as the other ones. I like the heel on them, and you know, by wearing these, you'll get a calf workout. So if you're not wearing these every day, maybe you won't have a Charlie horse. <laughs> they probably weigh, um, they probably weigh close to a pound a piece, to be honest with you. That's what they feel like they weigh, about a pound a piece, so. No more ankle weights. So I bought these in a size eight and a half. Like I said, they're no boundaries. They do have these really cool kind of hook and eye type of, um, you know, lace straps. They look really tr very trendy, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the entire outfit. Okay, so I really found an awesome little outfit here. Like, I am so surprised at this cute little outfit. But you know the pants I'm talking about, the ones that you always see hanging, hanging there in the departments, and you're like, those folded pants that are kind of hung on a little hanger, you don't have any idea what they look like, you know, you can just see the pattern. These ones are so cute. These ones are by No Boundaries. I bought them in a size small. You do want to size up, and the good thing I did size up because these are, there's like no stretch to them. Yes, they're like leggings, but there's no stretch. Can you imagine? I mean, like, yeah, I mean, there, there could be a little bit of stretch, but not much. So go ahead and stick to your normal size or even size up. But this blouse is adorable too. I'm gonna show you the whole outfit and then we'll talk. Okay. So the pants are really very cute. They are a wonderful pattern. I mean, like, I am so super excited. They look so expensive. Um, there are no boundaries though, you know, so they're really, really reasonable. They're kind of a plaid. I'll bring them up close so you can see them, but I did want you to see the outfit together. It's really, really cute. They do have elastic on the top and they have two cute pockets in the back. And then um, the stripes I'll show you as well, but the shirt really pulls the color, the top really pulls the colors out of the, the plaid. So let me just show you really quickly what this shirt looks like untucked. Really cute, you guys. 
size small, uh, time and true, kind of that really pretty wine color that I've been loving this season or leading up to the season, you guys. So it's definitely oversized. It's a V-neck. I love the neck on this. And the um, shoulders are nice and big and relaxed. And it's a real flowy kind of top with a dolphin cut here on the side. So you can definitely wear it untucked. And I do have those combat boots on with this. Really cute. I'm gonna show you the back. It's a little bit longer in the back for legging style pants. I tell you, sometimes you see something on the hanger and you kind of picture it and you're like, How, how's that gonna look? And then you're so surprised. So now last week I showed you a Sofia Vergara uh, jean jacket that I told you that was my first jean jacket that I had picked up in Walmart this year. So this is a time and true and this is a size small. The v Sofia Vergara was a different style and it was extra small. So keep that in mind, this is gonna fit a little bit bigger. And I love the wash on this. A heavy, kind of a heavy jacket, okay. So it doesn't, it's not very lightweight. I would say like a traditional jean jacket, you know, that you're gonna find versus the Sofia Vergara had like puff sleeves and things like that. So if you're looking for just a kind of um, more traditional kind of jean jacket, this is it. And this also has some stretch to it. So you could probably get away with sizing down depending on how you wanted the jacket to fit. Old Navy jackets in a size small and I like the way that fits. So now this one, so let me back it up and show you. Like, you see what happens? Okay, so I'm not really gonna button it up. That's the only reason why I would probably get a, a small is to button it and for the buttons not to pull. But the way I'm gonna wear this jacket is not going to be buttoned up. It's going to be like this. And then I'm probably gonna, let me, let me roll the sleeves up. Let me do it some justice here. Cause you know, I can't just not do and just, you know, not give it a real, a real good chance. There have been times in the past that I've done it a little this way and a little that way, and all of a sudden it's, it's a different outfit. You know what I mean? So, and one that I like. Um, you know, so it can be done. But let's go ahead and roll the sleeves up and make it a little more trendy, because I probably wouldn't wear it the way I had it. Right? Okay, that looks a little better. And let's see what it looks like untucked. I think this outfit looks good with a jean jacket, but I'm gonna try last week's jacket on just because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep, it just, it feels a little big. You know what I mean? But you know, you know that, might, that may not bother you. You may like it to be a little more uh, roomy, a little more oversized. I'm gonna give the Sofia Vergara jacket a go with this outfit and see if it's too much, let's see. But this is an extra small. Man, just, just putting it on, it just feels like, it just goes on so much better. Like, it's not as heavy, it's not as bulky. And yeah, I think that this one looks much better with this outfit. Isn't it funny how, you know, darker colors with bigger sleeves don't bother me. But like, if it's a light color and it's got those, you know, bigger sleeves, I feel like it just doesn't look right. This is cute, it's just enough and I'm, I'm leaning toward keeping this, you know, because it's different than my old navy jacket. It's not like a traditional one, so I like it. But let me just show you the whole outfit together, and then we'll move on. But I want to give you a, a nice look at everything together. I mean, you certainly don't have to wear a jean jacket. I just like mixing the fabrics, you know what I mean? I think that mixing the fabrics looks really good and on trend. So what do you guys think of these boots? I think they fit really nicely. I, I think I have one of them on too tight around my ankle, but they do zip up on the side like I told you before. And those are not hook and eye clasps. I think I misspoke there. You kind of feed the string through. You know what I mean? That's how you do it. But they just look really nice. It's just a little added extra style and there are no boundaries. Can you believe that? So 25, so there's a little bit more than the other ones. Uh, the other ones are a little different. They, um, you know, they, they don't stand out quite as much. Um, they go up a little bit higher on my leg. Yeah, so they're just different and I think it just depends on preference. But I think they're very, very um, on trend. Once you have these on each leg, they don't feel overly heavy. It's just holding them together. They did feel like, how would someone wear these? But these don't feel crazy heavy. I feel like they're okay. Real quick, not spending a lot of time on this top, but if you have gone past this top and wondered what it looked like, it's a two-piece top. This is a cropped kind of a tank and it does adjust and it is very cropped. And it ties in two places right here and then it kind of seams around and peplums down, okay? So it's not, I mean, it's kind of ribbed 
and I like the heathered kind of pinkish color, you know, maybe reddish pink color, but I didn't end up being crazy about this. So it's, I'm, you know, honestly, I just tried it on with the same pants I had on, but I wanted to show you this since I have it. Now, it might look a little different if your measurements are different, okay? So keep that in mind, but I'm not crazy about this top. Um, yeah, I just, it's, mm, it's just not for me. The no boundaries, size medium. I did size up in this. Uh, like I said, the tank inside, the cropped tank inside does adjust. You could pair this with some high-waisted jeans. You know, you could do that. I just am not crazy about it in general. So tell me what you guys think. Let me just show you the back. I, they don't go with these pants, but I do want to show you the top so I can kind of move on to the next thing, okay? Kind of peplums out here. Because sometimes I feel like I kind of what I say makes you not really like it. But it's 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 just not for me. You know what I mean? It's not for me. It could be cute on someone, but I don't think it really does does anything for me. So so you can see how short the top is, and there is a little bit of a kind of a I would say gathered ruffle through here, just on the seam, do you know? So it's kind of cute. So it's a very short little crop. So this does come all the way off. So that's that. When you walk into the time and true section, these are like five dollars. These are like basic, um, you know, long sleeve shirts. I really like the cut of the neck. This one is the green color. They've got all kinds of colors. It is kind of an oversized fit. There's no special cuts in it or anything like that. You know, it can just be kind of a layering piece, um, size down if you, you know, want something to layer even more because I do think it needs to be a little more fitted to kind of layer it. But this is. You know, it's a cute little basic for five dollars. I thought it kind of it kind of does go good with this these pants, to be honest with you. Kind of cute. A long kind of duster vest would be cute with this as well. So that's something to think about. But I bought this one in a green and a wine color. So I won't be trying on the wine color, but I did want to show you the fit. I think it's really cute. It's size small, like I said, so it's kind of over oversized. I would say the material feels kind of like a cotton blend. It's not overly stretchy. It's um, it's nice. It's kind of a nice basic piece. It doesn't fit quite as fitted. It's kind of more of a you know like a t-shirt kind of kind of thing. Not quite as as soft as like that soft t-shirt material, but um, you know that's just kind of that. It's kind of flowy. You know, it's not that real spandexy kind of thing. You know, and I'll just do that again so you can kind of see where it falls. I wouldn't wear it like that. I would tuck it in a little bit. Um, I just feel like it kind of draws it in when you tuck it in. You know, it kind of draws it in a little bit. Otherwise, it's a little bit on the boxy side. So that's that shirt, $5, very basic, and on to the next thing. Before I change these pants, this is one more sweater by Time and True that I wanted to show you. It's an oversized sweater, it's a size small, so it's definitely oversized, and it does kind of come down, I would say, to the top of the thigh, depending on how tall, how tall you are. But it does have two, uh, actually it's got like a slit that comes quite a, quite a ways up here. It's kind of a big slit, do you see that? But you see how oversized it is? It's oversized, but not, but it has a little bit of shape, do you know? So let me see if I can kind of show you what it looks like. So do you see that pattern? I think they had this in other colors too, but that's really cute. These things always get in the way. Again, you could style this a little bit differently too. You know, you don't have to wear it with these kind of pants. Certainly you could wear some high heels with this and pumps, do you know? Pumps with jeans would be pretty, like dark jeans and pumps would be really, really pretty. Um, you could definitely dress this one up. This one is really pretty. Definitely, I, I really like this, to be honest with you. This is really cute. And the sleeves are kind of long, so it's, it's kind of a, you know, the hem, it's like a drop sleeve, do you know what I mean? Like here, it's almost like a bell. So here's the sleeve. And then you got this. So it's kind of a bell sleeve, if you can see that. Do you see where the hemline is right there? Yeah, and then it's kind of a wide arm. So I think this would be really flattering on a lot of people. I really do. I think it's really cute. And I think they had other colors too. So they are in the store. Everything I'm showing you, 
has been in the store so far. Anything I try on, I, tip, I try to link in the um, description box, but if you can't find it online, sometimes they're in your local store. So don't forget to take a trip into your local store. Sometimes you can find them in your own store. But very pretty, you guys. Uh, you know, obviously there's no puff sleeve or anything going on here. First thing I do is cut these little puppies out as soon as I decide to keep something because, right, those things, are, are they on anybody else's nerves? But you see how this is kind of a wider neck here? I like that, it's pretty. Okay guys. Okay, I wanted to show you the design or the pattern on those last pants that I had on. I wanted to bring them a little bit closer and show you what the pattern was. Very cute and these pockets here are not working pockets and the back pockets are working. So. so let me just tell you that they're a little bit of a different material than the ones that I have on now. They're both no boundaries. These ones are in a size small and these ones are quite a bit smaller than the ones that I have on. They're both size small and I'm just thinking that the material must be a little bit different. Like these ones fit great. So let me just show you this outfit. Now, let me preface this look by telling you this jacket is probably not my thing. <laughs> uh, the material is kind of a felty and a tad on the itchy side. Definitely fashion forward. Um, but here we go. These ones are camo pants and I have them paired with my Time and True tennis shoes. They go all the way down to my ankle. They've got two large pockets right here, you guys. Two large pockets. They have a really nice size band that goes up on the top here, so they're like pull-on pants. And then I have it paired with this No Boundaries size medium white v-neck t-shirt. So these are those kind of silky or viscose kind of material. I've showed these to you, I think, before. And it does have a dolphin cut here. So I'll take the jacket off in a moment and show you. But you know what I mean about it, it feels really like felt. Feels felt, but it feels a tad bit itchy. And the sleeves, they're doing something a little crazy here. You see them, they're kind of oversized. This is a size small. Two big buttons here. These are working pockets and working buttons. And then it does have kind of that really cool, I don't know if you'd call this one a tortoise shell, kind of a, a tortoise shell kind of a button. So very fashion forward in my opinion. I, I think I would pair this uh, outfit with a jean jacket or maybe a hoodie, that kind of thing. But this one is probably going back, I have to tell you. It's, um, let me show you. The sleeve has some, some detail on it like this. And very thick, warm, it's, it's warm, it's warm. So if you have a long sleeve on, this might be the thing for you. But it's just too boxy in my opinion, too boxy. But guys, don't forget about these pants because <laughs> I love the pants, okay? The pants and the tennis shoes are so cute together. But I wanted to show you this. I have it and I wanted to try it on for you just in case you saw them in the store and wondered what it would look like uh, paired with something. But do you see? Um, let me see if I could do this. Could I do that? Yeah, they're not, they're not staying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm taking this back. But what do you think, ladies? This is time and true. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is it cute? It's just, it's not very comfortable. It just feels a little frumpy. That's the word I'm looking for. That's how it feels, is frumpy. So let me go ahead and take this off. And sometimes my camera does something a little weird with white. So I'm um, just going to kind of show you what this outfit could look like you know you could wear booties with these pants too and dress it up with like that little shirt that i showed you with the bell sleeves the black one and the v-neck very cute but you guys these are like so inexpensive and such a cute piece to add to your collection if you like camouflage uh the other pair are very cute too i would just say in that specific pattern size up i don't know i don't know what it is I'm not sure if it's just the material and sometimes that happens because you know you could find you know two things that are kind of the same dress but two different materials and they just don't fit the same so I just want to remind you of that but let me show you the back yeah it's nice these are kind of those pull-up pants which always kind of nice it's not like you're wearing you know pull-up pants are kind of in right now 
That's just, that's all there is to it. You're not resorting to pull-up pants, okay? Just remember that. These are a trendy option. And you know, this is a really basic white shirt. You know, you could definitely dress these pants up. This is just something that I have that kind of seemed to kind of go with what I wanted to show you, which was with this jacket, the, the whatever you call that, like, like oversized thick flannel? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I wanted to sneak these little shorts in because I saw them hanging there. So although they're kind of, um, you know, stocking the shelves with more fall kind of items, these shorts were hanging there and I hadn't seen them before. So I'm not sure if they just brought them out or if they're the end of summer stuff, but they're not clearanced. They're like 1350 material girl. Just something I hadn't seen before. So I'm pretty sure they're like new to the shelves. You know, it is still summer. We're still in August, but I, I snatched these right up. I could wear them the rest of summer and probably next summer. Um, I'm gonna show them to you really quick. Super cute little jean shorts. Okay, so put the brakes on the fall stuff for just a minute. Here we go. Look at the cute little detail. Uh, the little flowers all over the shorts. I really think those are cute and I really like the wash. Really, really like the wash. They are, you know, cut off shorts. And um, I'm gonna show you the back. They're not high rise, they're like mid rise. So just a really nice, um, just a really nice length, you guys. I did size way up, okay. So typically no boundaries. I get a three and a five. And I typically wear like a zero to a two in pants. So I'm just giving you this for reference. And then I'm gonna give you my measurements in the description box. But I sized up because I wanted them to fit oversized. I wanted them to be a little bit longer and I wanted them to be just a little bit baggier. I don't want them to be skin tight. And these are a junior's brand. So you know you always kind of, um, you know, oversized just a little bit. Sometimes I don't, it depends on I think the item. But let me go ahead and say that these are a size nine, okay? And I also purchased a size seven. Haven't tried those on yet, but honestly, I loved the length of these and I didn't even try the others on. I thought these are the ones that I'm gonna show and try on. And you know, just for reference, I wanted to let you know what size they were. But certainly, I hope you can see, let me see, let me adjust this a little bit, let's see. Can you see? The way they fall, really cute. And I don't think these are too short. I'm five, five and a half. I don't know if that helps at all. I will give you my measurements though, my waist measurements and um, all the measurements, you know, that you need, my hip measurements, all that stuff. But these are really cute, 1350, they're called Material Girl. And just, if you're not gonna wear them the rest of the summer, you can at least hang on to them until next summer. They are really very comfortable. The, the leg feels really good. You can move around in them, I mean, the material is that kind of softer jean material. So really a great bargain, I think. I wanted to show them to you. So run down to the store. They might be online. I'll try and link them. But if you haven't gone to the store lately, go in there and look in the no boundaries section. They should be right there for you. Okay, guys, this is a doozy. Now, I don't know if that means a good doozy or a bad doozy, but you're going to have to tell me. I, I'm, almost, I'm almost laughing here because I think it's so funny. Um, but I, I kind of almost like this dress, but you let me know. This is a no boundaries dress. And you know, sometimes little patterns can be a little cheesy, but this one in particular is really cute and I think it's really on trend right now. I haven't like sat there and read every quote on the dress. So I have to kind of be upfront and honest. I'm not sure if I would agree with all of these quotes. So before you purchase the dress, just know that these sayings don't reflect who I am. Okay, <laughs> just in case it says anything I don't agree with and I haven't read about it yet. However, look at the neckline, so cute. And I bought this in a size medium. So there are some gathered sides here. It's kind of ruched and it's a longer kind of dress. So it does go to the knees or past the knees. And I have this paired with my tennis shoes. Such a cute little pattern. Uh, the colors are really cute. I mean, you've got some oranges and some pinks and some greens, blacks, whites. Here it is. It's a really, really thin material and it has two little ties on the sides. Actually, they do work too. They actually cinch things in, so. But I love the length on this. I think you'd probably need to wear like maybe a half slip underneath this dress. Um, you know, of course, a nude colored half slip and then a nude bra. But I think that the dress itself, 
is, I mean, it's, it doesn't feel like it's overly like, uh, you know, like tight or too form fitting, especially if I have this little jacket on. But you guys let me know what you think. I mean, I know you guys, a lot of you love that print t-shirt that I showed you a couple weeks ago with the sweater skirt. And this kind of reminds me of that. You know, we're seeing some of this kind of thing these days. Really cute, you guys. Um, I don't know if it's kind of, if you think it's too cheesy for me to keep or not. Please let me know because I would be, I'm always very, um, you know, I'm very, very interested in your opinions with what I try on and it kind of influences what I keep. So please let me know what you think. I really do think this Sofia Vergara jacket is gonna be a keeper, it's, it's cute. Size medium. That's the next outfit. Okay, this is another cute top. I bought two of them and they were on clearance for $15, they're scoop. So I wanna show you by starting out with showing you the smocked, kind of the smocked material that comes from the neckline to this seam here right above the bust. And then from there, you have like this accordion style kind of gauzy material that falls flowy to there and how I had it. And then of course this goes around the neck and there's a little hook and eye um, button. So one button with a, I'm sorry, a keyhole button. And then um, the bottom doesn't go down too far. This is a size small. So I like that, you know, you're not seeing any of the bra. And then I have this paired with my celebrity pink jeans that I kept and my cute booties, okay my pointed heeled booties. So let me go ahead and show you, and the booties are not, the, the booties are from Nordstrom, um, but I'll try to link something similar if you're interested. But I definitely would front tuck this. And then I've got other jackets and things that I could probably wear with this, like, um, I don't know, probably some kind of a, I might wear like a, even a blazer would look nice. Not, I don't have my, other blazer out here, but um, the black one, I just don't think that would look great with this. But I think the color is really pretty, especially for spring and summer. Um, and I bought it when it was on clearance, so it's really cute. Let me show you, kind of cute. And you know, you could definitely dress this, this blouse up. You could wear it with a pair of like, you know, white linen pants. You could dress this up. It's, it's, it's really pretty. It's got a beautiful floral kind of print on it. Um, I also wanted to show you, I bought it in this color too. So this one is more of a fall. I mean, you could definitely wear this in spring too, but you can certainly wear this into the fall. Okay yeah. guys, here is another top. It's a no boundaries. It's got a little tiny pocket here. These are non-working cuffs, so they are just made into the shirt. The design on it is really, really pretty. It's kind of a red and white and looks a little westerny. I do have it tied right here, but it does have two slits that work right here. This is a size medium, no boundaries, and I just wanted to give you a, a little look-see at this little top. It's really nice and flowy, and the one thing I don't like is if you do have it buttoned or unbuttoned a little bit, um, it kind of flips open and that's not the same color. So if that doesn't bother you, um, the feel of this top is really nice. It's very kind of like silky, kind of, you know, it feels like a blouse. So you can definitely do that and then you won't see any of that. That's just, I think I might wanna unbutton it one more, maybe iron it down if I wanna keep it. But it's cute, pretty color. You guys can still see the tags on this, these jeans. I am keeping them, I should just rip the tags off. But um, yeah, uh, the sleeves, like I said, they're not adjustable. That's the way they are. This is a medium if you want it more oversized, definitely size up. And then of course size down if you want it more fitted. But the, no boundaries and so, okay, so there aren't any more buttons. It's just that, okay? So it goes to here and then this, so that I'm, I'm thinking that it needs to be either tied or tucked. Your choice, your choice. Okay, so stripes are really in right now. My only change in this top would be that it had a bit of a, uh, a wider neck, okay? But I love the sleeves because the puff isn't here, it's here. And then it kind of, you know, um, it kind of is fitted around here. So it's got like a little band that is fitted around here. Very loose fitting though, very nice and soft. And I have a pair with these same jeans and a pair of tennis shoes. So really cute top, you guys. And let me go ahead and untuck just to show you the length of it. 
super cute. It definitely, it's all about the sleeves with this top. And somebody in my comments actually mentioned that there's a show on Netflix right now that talks, it's a fashion show apparently, and it's all about the sleeves. So many different sleeves right now. But what I like about these sleeves is that they're puffy through here instead of here. So that to me is cute. Um, you know, the cut on it is kind of a slight dolphin. It kind of goes up and then down. And the length is really nice. I think this is cute with tennis shoes. Really Are you guys a fan of this or not? This is time and true. What do you guys think of this? Am I crazy for liking it somewhat? I don't know, I don't know. So it's a peplum kind of a, a thingy here, okay? So it's just, um, I don't know how to explain this because you can't really see the detail. So the detail, I mean, these are so, sort of like vines, okay? And it's kind of a, kind of a cream color over navy blue. That's kind of what the pattern looks like. And then the sleeve is a button sleeve and it has absolutely no stretch. So um, the material, it feels a little bit like polyester, a little kind of polyester maybe. That uh, It's not itchy or anything like that. But I guess it's just a, it's kind of a tiered because the tier starts here and it goes here and then it peplums out. So, and the sleeves are kind of here, right? Uh, you know, I, this is a size small, and honestly, guys, I don't know about it. I mean, I'm trying to think of what I could wear this with. <laughs> Ooh. I definitely got some air time with that. Whoa! Okay. I think that's a no. <laughs> this is the last sweatshirt I'm gonna show you and then I'm gonna show you some color variations of some of the other things that I showed you. But this is cute, guys. This is really cute. Time and true. So cute and it's striped, you know, it's, it's kind of that really light pink. Um, kind of in between like a baby pink and a salmon. And then it's got these little bells at the end of this. It's a really nice detail. A nice hood. It just looks fresh and clean with a pair of dark jeans. This dolphin, nice deep dolphin cut here. And the bottom has really cool ribbing on it. So it kind of, the material stops and then the ribbing begins. I hope you can see that ribbing there. But it's kind of a, you know, it kind of comes in here just a little bit. So it, it has some style, it has some shape to it. What do you guys think? Pockets, pockets. So you could layer this or you could wear this as a, as a top. Okay, so this is cute, time and true, size small, and it's $14.98. Nice, soft, kind of a t-shirt, thick t-shirt kind of material, and the pockets are nice and deep, and they work. So let me show you another color. This is another nice deep pockets and this is what I meant about the ribbing really neat detail there nice nice cuffs and that's also really really cute I just happen to like the pop of pink and my husband loves pink on me so I figure you know I'll wear some pink so here's that dress that I showed you earlier and it's in a different color it is a nice camo color. The thing that I think that cheapens it a little bit is the little butterflies on it. Looks like somebody just kind of stuck some butterflies on there. And I forgot to show you something else, okay? So um, you got the dress, and the one thing I didn't show you was, that's right, the matching mask. You got it, girl. You know, could you imagine wearing that other dress with that print on your face? <laughs> there you go, okay. So I just want to say that I had a great time today. It was just a lot of trying things on. I think I, I began with curled hair and now it is not curled. 
that's okay by me. But I did tell you that at the end of the video, I was gonna do a giveaway. And how this giveaway works is I randomly pick somebody in my comments. That's all I do, randomly pick someone in my comments. But I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be sending you. Now, what I do when I send a gift is I, basically I ask you to contact me via Instagram. So let me show you what it is. You guessed it, it's a Bible. So this is an ESV Bible, which means English Standard Version. And I like it because the writing in it, the print is a little bit larger. So even with my readers, you guys, um, sometimes I'm still squinting. So um, this is really nice for me. I really like it. I, I'm sure this isn't real leather, but you know what? It's one of those Bibles that, you know, when you lay it down, it lays nice and flat. So you can really study with this Bible, and you know, um, just a nice Bible. I, I, you know, I thought it was a real find when I found it on, on Amazon, and I want to gift one of you guys this Bible. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I will be selecting somebody in my comments before next week's video. So if you comment in my comments, um, just know that I'm gonna be just selecting someone within the next day or so. But I'll pick somebody to receive this, and I hope you love it. And um, yeah, so it, to me, it's really a, a special Bible because um, for one thing, I can actually see the page, see the writing on it. And for another thing, I can study with it because it lays open. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you know how some, some books, the binding kind of keeps it from really laying flat? This is a, a really nice soft leather-like material. So it's, it's nice, it, it's really nice. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do and I will be doing another Walmart haul next week. If you so. haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please feel free to subscribe to my channel because I'd love to have you join us over here. Thank you so much for coming by. God bless you.